man accused of mailing bombs to high-profile political figures and critics of President Trump may have caused another scare today, even though he's under arrest. Another suspicious package was intercepted this morning, bound for the Atlanta offices of CNN. It came just as the suspect made his first court appearance. Caesar Sayok appeared in court for the first time today in a hearing lasting only a few minutes. Wearing a tan jumpsuit with an orange shirt underneath, his hands and feet were shackled and his hair tied back in a ponytail. Inside the courtroom, reporters say Sayok appeared emotional prior to the hearing, his face turning red with tears in his eyes. Federal authorities taking him into custody Friday after they tracked more than a dozen pipe bombs to him back in Florida. Based on their initial analysis, they uncovered a latent fingerprint from one of the envelopes containing an IED. There is also a possible DNA connection between samples collected from pieces of two different IEDs. As the investigation continues, a new suspicious package surfaced. This one intercepted at an off-site facility but addressed for CNN's Atlanta headquarters. None of Sayok's bombs ever detonated. Reportedly, after his arrest Friday, Sayok said he did not want to hurt anyone, but investigators say the devices were all live and dangerous. Each device consisted of roughly six inches of PVC pipe, a small clock, a battery, some wiring and what is known as energetic material. Though we're still analyzing the devices in our laboratory, these are not hoax devices. Sayok is charged with five federal crimes and faces 48 years behind bars. An extradition hearing to bring Sayok back to New York City to face charges is scheduled for this upcoming Friday.